Three. 
Okay, these are. This is a graphical glitch I've never seen before. Uh, okay, what's going on with that? That's. At least it's not crashing the stream, but. If it keeps doing that, I'm definitely gonna try and do something about it. Go.
Oh, on on stream against you. Okay. wins. Yeah. 
Well, oh, there's a name we haven't seen in a while. How you doing? Uh. Eh, not, obviously I'm not too thrilled about that loss, but he just was getting the right reads when he needed them. So. Well, moving on. <laughs> Very true. Very, very true. Hmm. Well, now who's going to be on stream next? It looks like the next match we can... We might start throwing top eight on stream. I think Dark Sun... Oh! Gnome and... Shipsu. Well, I'm up against Shipsu, but that is not the match on stream. I'll be back.
Definitely need that advice because I'm already out of the tournament. On the plus side, I'm free to commentate for the rest of the night. So, I, sorry, I just need to take out my anger in one fell swoop. So, <sighs> what a way to start the new year. Now that we've gotten my that out of the way, we've got Ant and Dark Sun. <sighs> well, congratulations to Shepzo. That's um, significant, substantial improvement to be beating me. <sighs> You're still there, KH. Uh, been playing any game, new games lately? Forward throws. Mm. Oh, that's a that's an interesting trap. Was that a combo? <laughs> wow! First hit of Twin Pistons double into Electric. That cannot be true. But it took the stock, and that's all that really matters at the end of the day. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, that's very intimidating to be against the Accelerado hero. This can move across the stage at a moment's notice. And there we go. The Psych up, up tilt, doing its thing, taking the stock oh! like it was nothing. Ooh, nice catch on the air dodge. Oh, yep, you always have to respect, be ready for that super armor with the grab. <laughs> and all, from all the way across stage, dang. That, that is one really strong neutral beat. That is, okay, not quite enough. That snipe might have done it if it had found its mark. Uh, yeah, not really going to be taking stocks with a snooze at that percent. Hmm, still able to get back to stage. Ooh, nice conversion. It's not going to take too much else. Does still have the rage drive, but that, and that's going to do it. <laughs> Not even a question. If that that's taking stocks from across the stage at 100, it's definitely taking stocks from mid stage at 120. <laughs> Oh, I 
<laughs> yeah, you always... That's one of Zant's favorite tricks, the neutral B on the stage. He's ready for it. That would be a really devastating reflect opportunity. Hmm, there's a bit... Smash on the platform, and Thunder God Fist just taking the stock. That thing hits like a truck. Celerado doing its magic. I mean, it is a magic-based mo move set. Yeah, there we go. Looking for a chance to reflect something. Uh, going off stage, catching the him with the forward air at just the right time for that early edge guard stock. Keep in mind, Kazuya's like one of the heaviest characters in the game, so that I'm not kidding when that I say that 100% is an early stock against Kazuya. I was wondering if he'd run out of run himself out of resources for recovering. It does happen with Kazuya. His recovery is it's not bad, but it's certainly far from the greatest. No no stocks will be taken at that percent with the normal grab. Maybe the rage drive. Speaking of which, ooh, there we yeah, always have to be ready for the down. And here we go again, finishing out with the fully charged neutral B. Now Ant is on match point. Look, can Dark Sun pull it around? We'll have to see. <laughs> Trying to get more aggressive off stage. Oh no! The, got got thrown off guard by the ten hit combo. Yeah, that's the w weirdest mult oh, right. rapid fire jab in the game, really. <laughs> Ugh. Miss input or hoping that would take the stock? It, it, I was hoping it would take the stock, then it did not work. Which, yeah, n it wasn't even a stock trade, which is generally what you want when you go for kamikaze. So if you go for it and don't get. At stock trade at minimum, then that's a bad use of the kamikaze. Of course, the worst use is to use it on your last stock and throw the entire game. <laughs> yep, you always have to be ready for the electric wind godfist invincibility. That there's a reflect, all right. Just dang. <laughs> Well, I think he's about to get some nut revenge on that. Nope, not quite able to take the stock. Side B is really strong, but it's not the strongest KO option in in Heroes Arsenal and Rage, Rage Drive taking a nice 40% to start. Good catch with forward air. Hmm. Air dodge does let him get back to stage. Mishima jab combo, putting him off stage again. Let's, there we go. Getting one and then baiting out an option to get the second forward air for the edge guard and stock. I mean, it's, it's in a, still in a pretty good position here. Just, even if he loses, he still has two more games. Yeah, just going for the get guaranteed forward smash because when you do get it on an aerial opponent, they will recover pretty much instantly, so you have to just go for it if you want to get anything out of it. 
I wonder if that would have that down air would have comboed into up smash, which there we go again with the surprise neutral B now on dangerously low mana. And the jab and the Mishima jab combo to take the game. The kamikaze trade probably attempt or miss input probably didn't help Ant that Ant with that game. There we go. Starting Dark Sun starting out strong this game. One of those patients and the dash attacks on ledge to really solidify stage control. Put in, been putting in some work. What is going on? He nearly he's nearly gotten a zero to death on Ant though. Starting to make turn the momentum around. Jack Mish. The Ma Mishima jab combo, not enough. And yes, it's not age. It's not a gentleman jab. It's the Mishima jab combo. To refer to it as anything else is a disservice to Tekken. Ooh, nice snipe. Still not enough. 182. Any kill move should be taking it at this percent. It just needs to find one. And I don't think that's going to be it. Up throw might have done it. Ooh, there we go. Finally. <laughs> 2 11. Yeesh. Okay, getting a nice 42% off of that down throw into electric combo. I mean, there are. Kazuya's pretty infamous for, like, the electric to death combos but those are easier said than done people they get a nice punish on the up charged up b Ooh, sniping him not was not ready for that psych up is gonna make yep there we go just likes to go for the up tilt at the opportune moment with that thing because it's huge it has suddenly has a really good ko power Ooh, missing the conversion into the up b on that electric Trying to get it. Ooh, that's getting it into danger territory, but still had to jump it, I guess. Yep, Solarado. Generally, the best thing to do against that is to just bide your time or wait for the opportune moment, and that down air was absolutely the opportune moment. Finishing out the stock and the Accelerado in one swoop. See how much of a. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, that was a big whiff on the neutral B. Giving him a, a wide opening. To, and yep, up smash will take the stock, but still, that's 33% is not nothing. Has the Christmas tree special with two. Which, uh, that's two. was two weeks ago. What are we just doing still talking about Christmas? Oh no! That's uh, that was either the gutsiest edge guard read or the biggest whiff or miss input of this game. It's not over yet. His ants flying is well, slicing his way back into this game. Speaking of which, there we go. The accelerator up air into forward air, finishing it out.
I guess up next we have Avery and Meeks. And we are off to to witnessing Avery versus Meeks. I mean, on paper, there the 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 Jin. Well, what if Fiori's win? I keep forgetting, I can't remember the names off the top of my head, but the neutral B definitely should be a boon for Zelda in this matchup. It's easier said than done in applying it. That's the power of that forward air and back air. Nine frame frames as an out of shield and it hits like a truck. It's crazy how strong that thing hits. Great timing on that up because any other timing in that down air would have easily fit niche to the job. Back throw, yeah, probably not quite enough throw kill percent. Yep, catching him with ledge stalling with that down B. It's very good at doing that. Well, it's very good at a lot of things. It's Zelda's best move for a reason. Great punish on that on Fiori's wind. Because, yep, it has a lot of invincibility and it lasts for a while, but it is has a lot of end lag, too. You misuse it, you can be in for a very big punish. There we go again, trying to use it as a... It's a pretty good panic button, but it's not... But like every panic button, it, it has its drawbacks. Well, except for maybe Game & Watches, but that's another discussion. Not quite in range of that for that punish. Ooh, and there we go. <laughs> Just a lot of option coverage with. With Samus and you, and that 
neutral B was the right one to close it out. Hmm, interesting choice. Grabs the wrong leg. And that's gonna do it. Nice catch. Using it at the wrong time and getting grabbed for it. Dash attack putting him fur Avery further off stage. Nair. Put him off stage again. Ooh, nice neutral B call out. Ooh, there's a good use of Fairy's Wind to get out of that situation and turn around with a lot of damage. What a gutsy down air <laughs> up close against that. That is not quite enough. Yeah, doing it into place. Yeah. And what a mix up. Just jab, dash back, back grab, and then up throw for the game. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the only thing that jab is good for is mix ups, because you will never be linking. It is not a true combo at all. <laughs> but it's fast. It's fast and has okay range. It's still a bad jab, but it. But it has its uses. Bad does not mean useless. It takes. There are very few truly useless moves in this game. Yoshi's egg roll being among them. <sighs> Good roll out of danger. Ooh, there's an interesting up tilt. Oh, was that a forward smash? I'm not ready for that charge shot, it would seem. Oh, and catching Avery being a little over aggressive with a well timed forward smash. If that up be, it's, it's good. And it has a, it's a great panic button and a reversal, but like, all, like many of those, it doesn't get you out of everything. Ooh, just shot a little bit too late. <laughs> that was a good roll from Avery. Nice catch on the high recovery. <sighs> yeah, that was a really good up because otherwise it would have been looking at eating the... <laughs> eating that guard. Phantom. That's great use. Oh no, <laughs> but just barely able to get back. Yep, the sour spot on Zelda's down air does have a really weak meteor, sma meteor smash effect. It's one of the rare ones that does. Really maximizing his advantage state there. Good. Some interesting mind games with the charge shot. Ooh, not the greatest time to fire off that side B. Yep, cat. Building that into Fiori's wind habit and punishing it. And back air for game two. Sorry, folks, got a bit 
bit sidetracked. Back to this. This game's once again looking pretty good for Meeks. Hmm, but that's probably gonna be the stock. You can only do so many missed smash attacks before it comes back to bite you. I huh, was expecting a roll read there. Did not quite work. It's only really good for traps and if the opponent doesn't fall for your traps out of it then you basically wasted then you really haven't gotten much out of that jab <laughs> that was a very bad trade for Avery <laughs> losing the stock and makes him now in with the stock lead about to be a full stock lead. Oh, that, well. Just barely in time. And the air dodge bait take us the match. Yeah, there's a, there was definitely some big conditioning going on with air. Well done for Meeks taking the match. And with that, our... Our winner's final. Stop me if you've seen this one before. Meeks versus Ant.
After 10,000 years, we are now getting to the <laughs> winner's finals. I am, okay, I'm being a little bit of an exact. Actually, mathematically, I am the, the exaggeration on that statement is incalculable. But it would probably be like an exaggeration in like the millions of percents, <laughs> if not trillions. Oh yeah, definitely trillions. Plus. <sighs> But I am not going to be doing that math for you tonight. <laughs> that is not a that good use of my time. Uh-oh, somebody's got a low battery. versus Hero. Samus. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Oof. Oh, that was a really good time to get that particular menu item. Getting the perfect reflect and 16%. Yeah, that's not too terrible. Oh, here we go again already. Just does not want to give Sneaks any opportunity to be getting charge shots off. That is so mean. Tried to go low there, did not pan out. Ooh, down smash conversion there. Yeah, uh, this is just barely able to get back to stage and gets a well-timed down air to force him back because <laughs> yeah, that could have gotten real ugly off stage there with that little mana. F tilt and just barely not able to do it. And catches him with the forward air for the first stock. Getting a lot of the reflect of bounces, <laughs> which that's the right way to do it. Every balance counts in a matchup as projectile heavy as this. Ooh, what a call out with that back air. That thing hurts. Just going for the simple conversions here. Trying to go for, well, when got the conversion, did not get the sweet spot. Another bounce. Another situation where he just has to bide his time. Still alive at one. <laughs> Ooh, there's one way to edge guard. <laughs> this gets caught by the boom, which is never a good time. That's a combo I haven't seen before with the accelerado. Still, it was a nice damage. 
Good tech, keeping him the less elf alive. <sighs> yeah, just stuffing out everything right now. It's gonna take a lot for Ant to get back in this game. It's going to take a while to come back and not even gonna get the chance. Two stocks to start this match. Here we go. I think both these players like to go here when they have the chance, or at least in certain matchups. Nice up air string there for was that 44%? <sighs> Just meeks showing no mercy. Edge guarding him into oblivion off stage. Almost zero to deathing him to start. Meeks ain't screwing around tonight. He smells blood in the water and he is going to get it. Mm, nice choice of conversion there. Guaranteeing damage is always a good idea. There's an edge guard to Ant's favor. A nice early stock to give him some room for a comeback, but did not get the back air conversion. Ant missing the back air conversion on the down air. Oof. Nice, nice conversions from Ant here. Ooh, that. It's caught against the stage with that backer. It's couldn't tell if that was untackable or not. Either way, he's dead, and now Meeks has the stock lead, but we'll see how long that lasts. Right now, he is keeping it very well, just oppressing Ant. <laughs> Ooh, and there we go. A well-timed kaboom sealing out that stock. Ooh, just barely avoiding that side B. It has a big hitbox, but it doesn't have a ton of vertical range, which is probably for the best. Just impatience against the bounce. <laughs> Coming back to bite him there. Nice, but bait into the down smash and... Oof. Still not dead. Uh, Ant does not have a lot of room left for error. That charge shot, not quite enough, and there we go. Possibly some bad DI, or the failure of the kill screen. By the right, Meeks now up two games on match point. Ooh, there's an easy stock. 
You get hit by the snooze on the side of the stage like that, and you're in for a world of hurt, buddy. A lot of missed hits for uh, and punishes for beaks there. There's a nice punish. Could have been better, but still, you take what you can get. Not a good trade of the charge shots there. Yeah, this ant is looking on fire this game. Finally takes a stock with a well-timed back air. You know, it's not the greatest position to be given that just one or two more hits will do it for Meeks' next stock. Yeah, there's another... In that was an interesting trade. Just barely avoiding the snooze. Meek's finding his way back into this game. Finally losing a stock to a fair, but got 100% again before losing a stock, the second stock. That's not too shabby. Ooh, that ate so much shield. Uh, Rel was definitely the wrong, wrong choice there. It rarely is against Samus. That is probably going to do it. Now they're on even stocks. It all comes down to this one. If Leeks takes the next stock, then this match is over, but that's definitely not going to help. Nice use of the grab traps. Really timing out that, timing out that bounce. Now in a very good position. Probably not going to get another bounce for a while. Oh boy! Trying to go for the hard read there, hoping for some potential potential cheese. Uh oh! Uh oh! Yeah, not quite enough to take the stock. Trying to go for the edge guard to seal it out does not quite pan out, but got to put him back off stage with a... Ooh, goods thrown in towards the stage. That's not an ideal to deal exchange for that up B. Is that going to do it? Yes, it does. Meek's crushing Ant like a bug tonight. Yes, that I am, will always go for the puns when the <laughs> opportunity presents itself, and they're just a little too easy with a tag like that. Still, it's not often that he gets 3-0'd like that, so... And Ant is definitely one of the better players here. All due respect, I just can't resist a good pun. Or a bad pun. Or the worst puns that you can imagine. In general, I just pun. Puns keep coming and they don't stop punning. <laughs> now we are up against. Well, Meeks will be waiting in losers finals. We still have. Still looks like we have Avery and. Well, how did Avery and Taminus go?
Did I really forget to turn on the mic again? Uh, goof! That was a goof and a half! Oh, what can I say? It's been two weeks. No, it's been more than that. It's been like three weeks. Sorry for the silence for that period. Yeah. Or maybe you prefer that. I don't, no judging. The big thing we've seen is that that gun is putting in doing the number on Greed's recovery. It's pretty much free damage every time he's stuck off stage. Now gonna here comes the Ursen. There's a nice grab punish. Finding all the right openings and with that is... Yeah, I don't blame him for going for the aggressive edge guard option because it was, it was unlikely going to be anything else to take the stock there. As we've seen, it, the back air goes from being like a crazy strong 80% kill move to like 9th to like 140 on with edge guards Ooh, just not quite able to get out in time probably should have just done down smash maybe even up smash oof He can't take the stock with this Arsene. I'm pretty confident saying that this game is greeds. Oh boy, that's a big miss. It does get the edge guard at least. There. At 180%, granted it is Incineroar, one of the one of the notorious super heavies of the game. Whether or not Incineroar is the best super heavy in the game is is debatable, but definitely has the best representation in, or one of the the best represented in the, at top level, all because of that of Sky J. Ooh, this air dodge off stage, dooming him to the lose it. Granted, that from that point, that game was always going to be an uphill climb. But that that didn't even give him the chance to try. There's an interesting drag down combo. And the drag down combos are generally the best way to build damage with non Arsene and Joker. Well, they also have use most notoriously in the fair up air down smash to confirm. 
There's the power of our set. 80% mid stage. Boom! Against Incineroar, one of the game's super heavies, and that was enough to take that stock. That's gonna take a lot out of it, but still. What a way to start this game. One for the grab punish, probably a good idea. You're not taking stocks against Incineroar across stage with the forward smash. So, if you can't take stocks, you're better off just going for the edge guard for the damage option. Nice F tilt to close out that first stock. Yep, that gun, it's, it's a nuisance. Ooh, nice back, nice raw back air to call out the, the get up jump there. Now another ascend. This, this was where the game started to spiral out of control earlier. If he lets him get too much out of this, it's gonna be very difficult to come back. And it is look, looks like it is spiraling out of control right now. Just barely missing that for, forward smash to close out the game. Arsene, not quite enough to close it out, but it's going to take a lot for Greed to get back in this one. Oof. He'd been ready to, for, for the, it, to land on stage. That might have been it. Dash attack still not enough. That really uh, up tilt without our scent taking the stock. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, we are on to the all important game five. One will be ending their tournament run here. The other will be going guaranteed a payout tonight. It's for all the... Well, okay, that's just stealing from a better... Somebody already made that joke. Something about fighting over a few dollars. Pride in a few dollars. <laughs> Greed just not able to find the right opportunities. Just wow, this match is such a drag. All of the drags. We haven't even seen. Oh, that's gonna do a lot on that Arsene, but still, still around. Ah, very good chance that it's t what takes the first stock here. Not able to even get back to ledge. Not the way I was expecting that stock to be closed out, but. Taken stock is a taken stock. Yeah, Taminus is just on point right now. It's not giving Greed the chance to start much of anything. What spacing! That! The discipline to go for that punish against a Lolan Whip? That you, madness, Tamness. Madness. That was the most micro of micro spacing, but finally losing a stock to the dash attack. 
with all of that, build a, a nice and cozy 92% lead. Kind of lead where it just needs like one good edge guard to close out the stock. And once there are sends out, it'll be. Ooh, if he uh, if he'd been more ready for that, those those could have been very easy stock cuts. There are sends gonna come out to play and ooh catches them with the back air. Gets the catches the jump. Okay, looks like Greed's do, probably doing the smarter route play there. If you stalling out the Arsene, just... It's a bit of a risky maneuver because it does... Because if you don't take as much damage as you can against Arsene, it does increase the chance you'll be sa facing off against another that stock. But if... You'd have to weigh the, weigh the risk-reward on that, on stalling out Arsene. Up tilt, still not enough. Speaking of which, ooh, that dash attack coming in clutch. Needing, because if that hadn't done the trick, if that next attack hadn't done the trick, he, he absolutely would have been staring down a second Arsene on that stock. So as I've said many times, it's something you never, ever want to see against Joker. There's, that's gonna force the Arsene out. He's going to have to really make this one count to take this game here. If he doesn't, then it's going to be very difficult to take the game and match. With that, yep, not going to get the chance. Barring a, a masterful Rebels guard, this match is probably over. Or some really, really masterful play from Tamnus coming out. Ooh, that's not gonna do it. Yeah, it's very difficult to challenge the, an active Lariat. I mean, if Tamnus can win this ge the game from here, then he might just deter us to win the tournament tonight. Dang. That is gonna do it, unfortunately. The very close. Very, very close from Taminus, but just not going to get the chance to tech underneath the stage like that. <sighs> yep. Close, but no cigar. So close. Painfully close. I, I empathize with that. Well, after that heartbreaking finish, we are going on to losers set, losers finals. Greed versus Ant. Here we go. First hit going to Greed with the early Alolan whip. Does a lot, it does a sizable 25, which 
It's, that's not nothing, but you won't see him go for it too much because it's a very important move and not one you want to steal too much. Gets the second one. Another. That is still not going to do it. Probably doesn't help that it's very stale after getting two all very close to each other. Still not enough. The staling once again. Not doing him any favors right now. But if he gets a, another low and whip, it's definitely going to do it. Or dash attack. That works too. Going for the up air, trying to go for the damage. Interesting. Ooh, just barely able to make it back to the ledge. Nice catch. Not too much that you... Well, there's the strength mix-up. That's generally the only real mix-up that Ant can do. And if you get the right call, it's you'll take the stock. And Greed is already up two stocks in this this game. <laughs> Great call-out. Stuffing out the neutral B. Looks like Greed took that knowledge and made great use of it. It's a habit that Ant has, and Greed is pretty good at just downloading your habits. And that will do it. Three stock to start. Greed is not screwing around this match. to game two. That's definitely got to be a demoralizing way to start. We'll see if Ant can change up his strategy enough to get back into this. So far, not looking too great. Getting read like a book. Finally getting a well-timed side B to force Greed back. He's trying to s keep that kitty tamed. Getting a little too trigger happy on the revenge, and it's starting to come back to bite him. Neutral B not going to be taking a stock from that percent. Oh, that's a big revenge. Finally gets a usage on it, and it's not the greatest win. If he committed to that read, that could have been the game. Well, could have been the first stock. Speaking of first stocks, though, there's no way you're surviving that one. Nope. It's even for mid stage, too much revenge and too high a percent. Speaking of no way you're surviving that, psych up dash attack. It's not too often you see that land because it's not a good dash attack at all. But it still hurts. That's the one redeeming factor a lot of those painfully slow moves have. They will kill like crazy. Uh oh. Yeah, that was a big <laughs> that was a big snooze. A very big snooze. You 
always have to be ready. If your combo isn't true, that revenge can very easily interrupt it. Wow, great spacing from Ant, just barely staying out of range to avoid the... Didn't amount to much, though, as he falls right into the F-Tilt. Great avoidance from Greed, and also a pretty good Nair Punish. Ooh, there's a... Greed not ready for the sudden forward smash. Psych up, that's a scary thing to see. Getting a subpar usage. Got another one ready, though. That could be scary. Another subpar usage. Good grab. Going to put him in a very bad situation off stage. And that's absolutely going to be the game. Those si uh, one psych up isn't going to do much on its own, but they add up. They really can add up. And on to game three. That's gonna hurt, but yeah, not be gonna be taking stocks with that. Probably need like some real some additional buffs to get that one. I don't think he had time for it in that situation. Christmas tree. Well, okay, not the true Christmas tree. That's that's Accelerado and Oomph. That'll hurt. Not gonna take a stock. Got a nice heal. That's gonna make it a lot harder to close out the stock here. Oof, and there's the back air to close out the first stock of this game. Those heals, those 10% heals really can make a difference. Speaking of making a difference, Revenging the side B and then getting a well-timed F-Tilt will absolutely close out that stock. Wow, that just barely beat out the Crackle Slash there. Nice way to capitalize on that option and punish. Still had the jump there, which that ooh and the sizzle will close it close it out. So many projectiles, so hard to keep track of them all. Any of them can make the difference when you, at the right moment. Uh, feels like Ant's gotten a download on Greed's habits now and just finishing them out cleanly. And, yep, not much you can do about that. Now it's game four. Ant just needs one more game to go get the rematch in grand finals. He is definitely doing the number. Oh, oh no, the missed tech from Greed gonna cost him dearly in this game. Using the 
Using the electric hitbox on the fully charged side B. That's an interesting choice. I guess it just shows that Ant is pretty confident in his position here, and why wouldn't he be? He's now a full stock ahead. It's gonna <laughs> just going for all the crazy things. Going for the fully charged side B, and now going for Hatchet Man. Boom! Taking the stock. Yeesh! No rage there, so no, not able to take it. Oh boy, is this going to be a miracle of a comeback for Green. At least he's not going to three stock. That's the start. Oh, that would have been so tragic if that... <laughs> Whack had closed out the, ma the match. That just that would be such a demoralizing way to lose. To his credit, Greed's not doing too shabby and making a comeback effort. Just needs like one well timed to low and whip, and that could easily be the stock cl gap closer. Uh, his, ga his gateway to closing the stock gap is rapidly closing. Dash attack closed, so stock gap is closed. That's step one to a comeback. Now step two is taking that final stock. He shielded the th thwack in time. That could have easily done it. That's a very scare. <sighs> Ant is really just trying to cheese him hard here. Possibly playing a bit scared. Uh, well, okay, that's a combination I didn't expect to be closing the match. Crackle Slash into Sizzle. <laughs> it works. It really works. And with that, we are going to Grand Finals with the run back between Ant and Meeks. We have a Hungry Meeks tonight, it would seem. Will that, that mean a... F Will his hanger lead to a fast ant match tonight? That is to be determined.
I think we're going to be waiting a bit, folks. And now for our final match of the night. <laughs> Let's see how that hanger plays out, shall we? Here it goes. Starting out strong with the up B into up B. Well, up air, up air into up B, missing the up B. It's a bit surprising you didn't get punished for that. from that kaboom that hitbox is so huge you really have to respect that thing any time oh. if you know it's coming you really have to respect that thing just yeesh speaking of things you have to respect samus up tilt her ledge trapping game would be so much worse if it wasn't for that move. Ooh, that was a nice conversion. Just turning that that up B into back it into a back air for the stock right on the side of the stage. Parried the first part, but still ate the rest of it. That's not a move you want to be parrying. That is probably going to... Okay, never mind. Lands on the wrong side for that to be the game ender. But that... Did... <sighs> yep, that's... 
That's the prime time to be using it. One of his favorite times to be using it. Kaboom, as a ledge traps, you perfectly space it, and the opponent has to do a perfectly timed get up to have any hope of getting past it. <laughs> yep. You know, it's like, it gives the false, well, kaboom, it's very easy to get a false sense of security against that when you recover from the ledge from, against it. It lasts for such a lo surprisingly long amount of time. And it hurts! Oh boy, does it hurt. Not gonna get... 3 0 this time. Game two, going to field where battles are had. In other words, a battlefield. It, it helps a lot in this matchup, but you can only get so far with it. Not everything Samus does is reflectable. <laughs> really going off stage for that one, and it pays off. Once again, the edge guards with the Celerado putting in the work. That was an interesting trade. Or a, not really a trade so much as a cancel out that did not cancel out the charge shot in time for Ant. Nice patience from Meeks there, He's taking the sheet, shielding the <laughs> neutral B, and not going to take too much more. Close out that st stock, but at the same time, has a, fighting from a full stock deficit is not easy. <sighs> yeah, no recovering from that. But not, but with how much of a lead he has. I'm not sure if that SD is going to amount to much. Okay. There we go. Well-timed jump to punt. Back air punish takes game two. Ant already on the cusp of a reset.
Here we go. Ooh, there's an interesting trade. A lot of projectile trades in this matchup. Which makes sense, because they're both projectile-heavy characters. No mercy. With it, that's a first stock of this game. There we go, first stock taken off Ant this game. back and forth in this game, honestly. Ooh, Coateer's Curses. It instantly closes out that second stock. Leek's gonna be, find the chance to close out this, the second stock back in time, or will Ant get an insurmount... Okay, no meat lead is truly insurmountable. Not gonna get, really get the chance to do that, I though. 18%, not really a comfortable lead if, by any means. But starting to build it with some very crucial reads. What a great short hop to avoid that charge shot. But Meek's catching Ant pressing buttons and keeping him in disadvantage for quite a while. Oof. So <laughs> masterful weaving around it to finally get back to stage. Right back there, putting him off stage yet again. Ooh, and charge shot sniping him out of the air. Taking game three, not getting... Reverse, not getting 3-0'd back. Not this set, at least. Starting out strong here. There's a getup that was perfectly timed to avoid the <laughs> kaboom. 
Well-timed up tilt, closing out the first stock of this game. Now it's big, it covers so many options all by itself. But there's a, speaking of covering so many options all by itself, another Kaboom closing out that first stock <laughs> properly this time. Fortunate that he was shield, able to shield that just in time. Celerado comes out. This is Meeks showing no mercy with the pressure. Up throw still not enough. Which stealing it is not ideal. Not, probably not going to matter if he gets another. What a time to rip that. But speaking of you know, what a time. This, is, this might... Okay, not able to get back to stage. Getting a little too trigger happy with the... Accelerado off stage and expires at just the worst time to guarantee he can't recover. But did it matter when he was at that high of a percent? Ooh, able to recover so that the, he doesn't even land. Yep, it does have some interesting properties on hitting aerial opponents to keep it from being too crazy broken. Yeah. Yeah, psych up is always a scary thing to see and ooh, a well-timed bounce coming out to turn that reflect that charge shot into big damage. Here's an interesting exchange that did not work, and that will do it. Set to online. Here we go, set two. Ant starting off okay, but we'll see if he can maintain that momentum. Sizzle can really come in handy. It's fast and it goes. Well, it's not the strongest option, but it has its uses. <laughs> what was that claim? Another sizzle, nuts, able to take the stock. It is not the strongest move.
trying to finish out with the Nair there. Not able to get the double fair to that time. Does get that, which barely survives. I'm honestly kind of surprised. Pretty close though. Not gonna take too much else for Ant to take the next stock. Just needs one good hit. Like that! Sack up absolutely helped though. Hmm, going for the up smash, I guess it was. If it had connected, it could have been a lot of damage, but there's a reason you don't see Meeks going for it very often. It's horribly unreliable. You smack it around back and forth. Not just needs like one more final hit to close out this game. Uh-oh, and speaking of things you, that are needed to close out games, the snooze will absolutely do it. No hope of surviving at that percent. Sorry, just kind of tired right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, always got to be ready for for that one. It's a, it's not a shabby down air. And avoidance.
Well, that was a charge shot to cancel out the big one. Oof. That's the power of the, of the sour sweet spot forward smash. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of damage, but once again, we see why that up smash isn't used too much. It's just not able to connect very well, like at all. <laughs> that could have been an ugly, ugly whack. I think that's a percent where it's more likely to kill than not, so a bit unlucky that it didn't do the job, but don't need luck for that to do it. <laughs> no luck required. And now Ant is on tournament point. Pulling out the fusion suit alt in here. Ooh. Ooh. Got pineapple underneath the stage. Yeesh. That's a bad way to start this game. This game is looking like it's rapidly spiraling out of Ant's hands. Yep, that's that kind of SD is the uh, can be a big momentum shift, and sometimes it's hard to recover from that. Fortunately, Ant doesn't need to cover in this game. He has two more to go after it to take the tournament. There's the f one stock off. Good patience. Snooze is always a bad thing to be getting hitting by on the side of the stage. That was an interesting mix-up. Falling up the fully charged usually with a weaker one. Uh, forward air multi-hit not quite working out. Fortunate friend, if that had been the what was that? I don't think that should have killed. That, that was some really bad DI or Ant just gave up on that game. Here we go, next game. Next game on deck.
Oh, that let it loose the wrong way. That might have been the stalker otherwise. Going with the gravity suit alt. Ooh, nice fault, fast fall there to, to get back to the ledge safely. And off to a pretty good start here, but it's, still has another stock after this one, so things could change. Things could change real fast. Snipe taking that stock pretty, pretty quickly. With only 33% into this next one, certainly either player's game. Uh oh, one of the worst things you can fall to against Hero. That will do it. The nice charge shot into forward smash conversions. Getting the back hit. Sending him in the wrong way, so covers safely. Getting the edge guard to close out that next stock. Still doable for Meeks, but he's falling behind. He's falling further and further behind. Oh boy, it's go it went from pretty reasonably winnable to uphill battle. And it's only getting more and more uphill. At this rate, it'll be a be a double eh, okay. There's no ski run that's comparable. That is a straight up cliff to come back from. You in other words, you don't come back from that. You're done. That moment you get shield broken against Hero at that percent, you are super mega ultra done. Congratulations to Ant for another tournament win, and thanks for those who tuned in. See you all next week. Do remember that we will not be ha that we will be having a big b gap of no tournaments due to. Extenuating circumstances.